Speaking to Entertainment Today, Vanity Fair's royal editor and royal expert Katie Nichols said she absolutely thinks Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will name their daughter Diana. She stressed that it could either be the first or second name of their baby daughter, who is due in the summer. Ms. Nichol added how naming their daughter Diana would be a wonderful way to pay tribute to Harry's mother, the late Princess of Wales. Nichols said, what we know about this couple is they do put a lot of time and thought into names. But I'm sure they've got a very good idea of what they're going to call their little girl. The royal expert went on to insist, I think many people are expecting Diana is going to be one of her names. I absolutely think they will want to include Diana as perhaps one of the names for their little girl. Nichols said how the couple could choose the name Diana maybe not for her first name but added, I'm sure it's very high up on their list in terms of a second Christian name. She added that for Harry this would be a wonderful day to pay tribute to his mother. The Vanity Fair royal editor went on to explain how William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, gave their daughter the first name of Charlotte and middle name Diana. But she stressed, I don't think that precludes Harry and Meghan from doing exactly the same thing. Meghan is understood to have watched the funeral service of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, from California with her firstborn Archie. Prince Harry arrived in the UK two days after the death of his grandfather and remained in quarantine for the following week in accordance with government guidelines on coronavirus. On Saturday, the Duke of Sussex attended the funeral alongside 29 other guests, but had to sit alone inside the chapel due to COVID rules. In the wake of Prince Philip's death, Meghan and Harry paid the Duke a touching tribute on the website of their organisation Archwell. But earlier it was reported by Express.co.uk that Meghan and Prince Harry provided a sentimental tribute to the late Duke of Edinburgh on the day of his funeral. The couple wanted Bears Breaches to be included as they are the national flower of Greece, where the Duke was born. They also asked for Sea Holly to represent his service and lifelong commitments to the Royal Navy. But the publication of details on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wreath displayed during Prince Philip's funeral has been described as unusual by a royal historian Marlene Koenig. She told Page Six, I think it was a little bit drawing attention back to them rather than just not saying anything at all.